Making a sourdough starter is very easy but a little bit time consuming. It's a natural process of fermenting dough and producing the yeast activity to make some nice traditional European bread. And today we are going to make our very own sourdough starter. It's a little bit of detailed kind of video so please watch till the end and I hope you will find this useful. So let's begin. First thing first, measure your ingredients. It's really really important taking a half cup of flour then you will need a half cup of water measuring your ingredients really well transfer the flour and the water in the glass container now glass container is my personal favorite type I mean it doesn't make any sense to be so specific you can choose your favorite type of container but yeah I prefer glass container Mixing the flour and water, make sure there are no lumps in the batter. This it will slow down the process of fermenting the dough, and sometimes you know you, the process don't even start. So you have to be sure that your mixture should be really, really smooth. cover my container but you can use a kitchen towel or a cotton cloth as well it totally depends up to you it's just that don't tighten up the container keep your container at room temperature and you will notice the process of fermentation will begin shortly probably after two to three hours Today is the second day of our starter and you may notice little bubbles on the side and on the top which is definitely a good sign but if you don't notice this little bubbles in your starter just don't throw it sometimes it takes a little bit more time to develop the wild yeast so just don't throw it and do the process and believe in the process we are now discarding the half of the starter and feeding the starter by feeding the starter I'm adding half a cup of flour again with half a cup of water and mi mixing it really well repeat the mixing process again and Keep your container at room temperature and I will see you tomorrow. <music> 